reducing the radicand. So let's say um, you're asked to reduce the square root of 80 uh, without using your calculator. Well, the answer is 4 times the square root of 5. So this is what I mean by reducing the radicand. What I want is my result to look something like this. Now let me show you how this happens, why this happens. So we can write the square root of 80 as uh, the square root of 16 times 5. Now 16 times 5 is 80. And so, uh, so radical 80 and radical 16 times 5 is the same thing, so they're equal to each other. And uh, using the properties of radicals, I can split uh, what's underneath the square root here as the square root of 16 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 16 is 4 times 5, times uh, the square root of 5. So here I'm done because I cannot reduce further. And uh, following the, the properties of radicands and, and square roots, uh, I noticed that the square root of 80 is actually just equal to 4 times the square root of 5.